continues. As that continues, the pressure builds because the white dwarf is basically solid matter and you have gas falling on it. At the base of the gas, the pressure is growing and the temperature is growing. Well, this is an unstable situation because eventually there's enough gas pressure down on that hydrogen layer that it ignites spontaneous thermonuclear fusion. Well, the sun is doing that in its core every second of every day. So why can the same kind of nuclear fire that quietly powers our sun turn a dead star into a cosmic explosion? At the core of our sun, hydrogen nuclei are constantly merging into helium in a process called thermonuclear fusion. Thermo means it's driven by very high temperature, and fusion means lighter atomic nuclei combine into heavier ones, releasing energy. Every second, the sun converts hundreds of millions of tons of hydrogen into energy, yet it doesn't blow itself apart. The reason is balance. Gravity pulls inward, trying to crush the star, while the hot, high-pressure gas and light from fusion push outward. This balance, called hydrostatic equilibrium, acts like a natural regulator, and it's the baseline we need to understand before we ask how things go catastrophically wrong. A star that has become a white dwarf is what happens when that regulator loses most of its